everyone today we're playing invoked runic and this is another runic version that i created that i think performs really well especially with the fact that alistair is a really good recyclable engine that can use all of those runic monsters paired with the synchros we get access to a bunch of synchro plays and everything that puts the deck together is only one card and that is ancient fairy dragon this is a really cool card that allows you to pop a field spell and activate another field spell so even if your hooking gets negated you can still get access to your favorite runic fountain which is really good now as of ratios we play placer of alistair placer of magical meltdown with two copies of invocation and we also play the algiris and the double makeable which is all standard stuff you can include more invoked monsters but there's just not enough space in the extra deck so i decided to play only these i also play a synchron engine with placer of tuning assault and revolution synchron and i talked about that a little bit more in my crystal video so you can check it out if you want to learn more about that but essentially you go for a bunch of synchro plays using all of those level 4 level 2 monsters and you generate more value this way the rest of the deck contains every single runic card known to mankind even golden droplet is a three copies and I also play chicken game because it's a nice card to deck then and you can also pop it with ancient fury and get a search which is even better now in the extra deck we have one hugen double giri and the one slave for the runic monster i don't play double hugen since there are other ways to search the fountain as well so we don't need to do that for the synchros we have one quandax which is summonable by using a soul synchron in hugen also we have coral dragon which is usable with a soul synchron plus giri also we have the ancient fairy and the clear wing which are summonable with revolution synchron or you can use revolution synchro for more plays if you go for ancient fairy you can then summon crystal wing or if you go for clear wing you can use slave near to go for a level 10 synchro into Borneo floor both of these are really good options there's also one interesting line that you can use with quandax to go for dragite if you use the token from the slave near you can go for level 4 plus level 4 level 8 dragite and for the final card we have one sp which is just a generically good monster and that's it for the deck list now let's get into the gameplay so i can show you how good this deck can be well, Alright, let's start with Magical Meltdown. My opponent did let me go first, so I'm probably playing against Tempai Dragon. However, we'll see what will happen now. Uh, before we continue, do we even activate Alistair? I don't think we actually do. Let's go Golden Droplet here. Let's be a little more unpredictable. And I just misclicked on Giri. Oh my god, dude, that was such a bad start. Uh, let's go Alistair, I guess. Just ignore that part, guys. Let's go Assault Synchron. There's still a line I can use, but it's not ideal because I shouldn't have misclicked on it. I should have just summoned Hugen. Now let's use two monsters to summon Coral Dragon, which will give me a level 6 also it's gonna get me a plus 1 draw and i'm gonna be able to activate invocation afterwards as well which is even better let's summon that barone floor and clear the field a little bit so we can do some else now let's activate coral dragon let me see the plus one here okay chicken game let's activate chicken game before we continue that could be nice are we going to top deck something oh my god runic tip is actually a big deal in that case we don't necessarily need to summon hook and that changes things a little bit yeah what we actually still need to go for it because i want to give the makeup on the field and we couldn't they have no access to it right well okay so we're gonna go freezing curses in that case just to special summon boom and then we're gonna be activating it to pitch a card of course we're gonna get rid of the flashing fire not the tip and uh yeah we're just gonna be doing the standard place from there let's go for runic destruction just in case we need it against something like sang and summoning and now let's activate the fountain here we're gonna be shuffling three cards everything except for the golden droplet of course and depends on what i top deck from here if i get access to an additional body that could mean a lot more extending for me but we'll see all right let's see oh revolution synchron is actually great the problem is we kind of messed up on that part so now we cannot go for ancient fairy dragon yet uh well i guess we're gonna have to use this to make up a it's not ideal but it's still great don't worry about it let's use the alistair from the graveyard and the hugin to summon make up a... oh no actually we can continue with revolution synchron oh my god i have a better idea oh my god we can extend like crazy with this what are you did it growing by the way invocation oh oh yeah it's fine i mean i already have another alistair so it's whatever uh now let's activate the runic this destruction here and let's special summon the Gary as well which will even give me more plays to work with we can still get to crystal wing it's gonna be better than clear wing uh typically i go for clear wing plus Leipnir for the Borneo floor but since we already have that we don't need to do anything else let's just get the revolution synchron here as a level one body uh sending to the grave destruction fine and now let's summon the crystal wing without using any other effects from ancient fairy dragon and this is gonna be all of it we have Borneo floor with crystal wing with uh make up some very strong negations and now immediately uh, not actually not immediately we're gonna wait but we're gonna be using the freezing curses at some point as well it's better to wait since there probably will be a target worth negating here a uh, lightning storm to destroy everything oh no i should have summoned more cards in defense mode to be honest i don't know why i summoned everything in attack mode well let's negate that but now just to be safe from another board wipe i'm gonna go freezing curses to special summon and get the draws i know it's not ideal i should have just summoned everything in defense mode let's go for snape near which is the only other option by the way i used all of my runic cards 
cards. All of my runic monsters actually, pardon me. And now we're gonna go plus three by shuffling back these three. And hopefully we're gonna top deck a spell card so we can negate with Mechaba. This is my biggest hope. Let's see what I top deck. Okay, we have one spell at least. That's great. All right, we can do a lot with that. Uh, activating Sanget Kaiman. Do we stop that? I guess we can let it go through. He might be baiting me with this one, right? Uh, yep, Pydra. That's cool. We're gonna negate it with the Crystal Wing. Let's negate that. Of course, we're gonna do that. This is the number one play here. And he just scooped. Oh my god. We beat Tempai Dragon with this deck, dude. Okay, this is a decent hand. Let's go Golden Droplet. We're gonna be special summoning the Hugen so we can use the effect. If it does get negated, it's fine. Let's pitch the Golden Droplet. See what the opponent will do. Okay, that's an interruption. It's fine. We even have the tip, so we don't need it at all. Well, let's activate the tip here and get the search for the Runic Fountain. Or oh, no, never mind. Oh my god, dude. Uh, okay. Well, I could have went for the Alistair place, but it would have gotten Ash Blossom as well either way. So it's either one or the other, right? Let's activate this still get the search for invocation now we're gonna go into the good old sp here and we're gonna be uh using the invocation then to fusion summon that will be it nothing too incredible just some decent cards it's not the most ideal can but as i said you do get a spell or monster negation with that and if you use the spell negation you have a follow-up also you have sp so all in all i'm feeling kind of confident still okay wow droplet he's gonna go minus two for this one. Oh no yeah pitching sang and kaiman and also chundra oh my god he must have the last card being Pydra. Yeah, of course he does. And also Kaiman. Yeah, as expected. I cannot negate it. If only he didn't have drop that I could have won easily. And now Fajra as well can bring back the Chundra. And then Chundra can go for more plays. Oh, no. I mean, we tried. The deck is actually still good. They just have some horrible board breakers plus two hand traps. Like, dude, Droplet plus two hand traps is ridiculously strong. Oh, that's an interesting hand. Let's go with Dispelling as my very first play. I want to bait an interruption if they have one. So I'm going to start with Dispelling summoning Hook and i'm gonna use the effect to discard the other dispelling now if they have something like a ash blossom they will most likely use it right now okay an imperm that means that my alistair has bigger chances of going through which is great well now let's activate magical meltdown and get a search for alistair the invoker which is a pretty good start now we're gonna go normal summon the alistair and we're gonna use the effect to get my invocation here which will be really great now we're also gonna activate chicken game by the way so we can get the plus one just so we see what we top deck before we decide to commit for any play uh, okay that's a pretty good top deck now let's go for the ancient fairy dragon by using the revolution synchron and the alistair this will give us a very nice line into the runic fountain as well now we're gonna use the effect pop the uh, chicken game which will then of course give us the fountain here which is beautiful stuff man i really love that the fact that you can get access to the fountain again and now that we have revolution synchron on the field as a level one we can use it to summon crystal wing and now we are officially protected from any other interruptions here which is already great and now let's go also with the runic fountain but we're gonna have to use the invoke first of all so we can get the extra special summon from the slumber so it's a little bit of a waste that we don't make use of the hugen on the field but we don't have the assault synchron so there's nothing we can do about it and maybe with slumber i'm gonna be summoning the sleepner because it seems like the best card to have a little bit of an interruption available with it okay see what i top deck oh right these were some very interesting top decks it's a good thing that i went for sleepner because i didn't need the giri or the hugen so let's just pass turn with that let's activate the sleeper as my very first play get the token there which is typically usable with the quan dax so if we had a soul synchron we could have went for quandax on the field by using hugen and then we could have used the token to go for dragite but it's not the most ideal turn what can i say let's activate the spelling by the way i want to hand rip one card from his hand maybe that will be something interesting what do i get rid of cold by the grave also banishing oh he's playing sky strikers okay sure and now activating thrust oh no that's not great searching dark hole oh my god dude well typically i wanted to go for runic destruction first however i'm gonna have to use makeup now uh maybe i should have uh, not been that greedy and activated the dispelling to draw two cards afterwards maybe that could have been still nice but yeah i was just a little too greedy and he has that i get it back to back oh come on bro some people are just so lucky in this game and the duster uh let's hope that i don't lose the game here talent for two bro oh no actually he's gonna reveal my hand really you're gonna also get rid of my alistair oh come on he has also already in his hand bro this is by far one of the best hand i've ever seen for sky striker player to have a few moments later sending to the grave the shark cannon okay so main phase two he's gonna return probably it to the hand with kagari oh he's gonna spell oh my god he's gonna see oh i forgot about that there's no top there that can win me the game here guys it was a good try he just had way too many board breakers what can i say 